Do you need an Instagram alternative? Well, this might be your toaster. This episode brought to you by GoToMeeting. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at an app a day to keep your iPad in play. My name is Jeffrey Powers. I need to make a small little correction. Yesterday, I talked about an application. I'm not exactly sure if I said Fling or Fing. The name of the application for yesterday was Fing, F-I-N-G. So if, uh, if it sounded like I said Fling, I do apologize on that. Some of you have, uh, have mentioned that it sounded like Fling, but it was actually Fing, F-I-N-G, was the name of the application. Anyway, enough about that. It is today. Of course, you can always tweet. If you have see any problems, go ahead and call me out on it. Twitter me at iPad365. I know on uh, last couple days, I had a couple problems with, uh, with the processing. Uh, apologize for that. You know, I'm a one-man crew in creating all this video, so I'm going to try and do the best I can. But if you see any quirks that we need to address, let me know. iPad365 is the Twitter. Of course, the email is iPad365show at gmail.com. Okay, well, a couple days ago, the big news, Facebook bought Instagram. Uh, if you don't know what Instagram was, it was a, it's an application that turns your pictures into works of old pictures. You know, let's say, you know, you, ha you have the old Polaroids from like 1978. I know I have pictures from when I was a kid. They came from cameras that, you know, the 110 cameras, and they had rounded edges on the, on the pictures, and they looked a little bit blurry, or they looked a little bit brownish or bluish or whatever. Well, Instagram is an application that can actually recreate those artsy type looks to your today's digital photographs. So basically, it came out about a couple of years ago, and I remember being on the beta, and I really liked it. It, was a good, it is a great app where I can actually put it in, like, uh, if I wanted to have it look like a Polaroid, I just choose the Polaroid option, and then uh, it would look like that. They've changed it since then. It's gotten a little bit better, and it's gotten to the point where Facebook has said, okay, well, now we want to buy it. This was not news to me. I knew, I knew that Instagram was going to get sold. It was just a question of to who. At the time, I was thinking, well, Facebook is going to buy this. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe Twitter will buy this, or maybe uh, uh, Pinterest would end up buying this, or Google Plus end up buying this. Well, Facebook came forward. They spent a million, a, I'm sorry, a billion dollars on that and actually purchased it, which caused a very big uproar in some of the circles out there. A lot of people are doing the Insta Exodus as I'm calling it, uh, Instagram's exodus of the application. There's a lot of applications that are out there now that uh, let you easily download your pictures into zip files so you can uh, ultimately delete your account. Now, it also means that 5 million people downloaded the Instagram application. I technically haven't been using the Instagram application simply because of the fact that it doesn't do all, everything that I need it to do, whereas I can just post it up on uh, Hootsuite or Twitter feed and actually have the picture go up and go in more than one area. It's just an extra application. Still have it on my phone, though. And every now and then I would, uh, I would give it a little bit of flair, a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of burnout or whatever. So, But anyway, so you want to find another alternative to Instagram. Well, here's one, and actually we were going to talk about this anyway, so it kind of came out perfectly. The name of the application is called Photo Toaster. Two versions, the Photo Toaster Lite, which is the free version, and then of course the paid application version. The company actually makes a couple other different types of programs that let you do different things to photos. Put frames around it, make uh, change the color, put in saturation, black and white, so on and so forth. The cool thing about uh, the Instagram buy is literally the effects are there's no patent on the effects so I could actually create an application within the next 24 hours and sell it as the next Instagram app and I bet you there's probably a hundred applications that are vying in the in the app store right now going for that and hopefully getting a little little piece of that pie well photo toaster was the one that really impressed me basically what it is you take a picture whether it be through the rear face camera or the front face camera and then you can actually adjust it. You can give it the sepia. You can give it the black and white look. You can take away some of the saturation. You can change the colors and you can do a little bit more. The pro version gives you other options. 
Uh, but with the free version, you can make a picture, you can put a border around it, and you can send it to your friends. Of course, you can also post it to Facebook. The biggest problem, just like with Instagram in all reality, is there is no other options. There's no Pinterest post. There's no Google Plus post. There's no LinkedIn post. Uh, so you can actually put it into other social networks. Until that happens, that will be, I think that will be the photo sharing program that I end up going with. One that I'll be able to post to multiple areas rather than one social network. But in the meantime, if you need an alternative, you can check out Photo Toaster. Like I said, they have a free version and a paid version, and you can check it out there. The one thing I didn't like about meeting on the phone was I could never see somebody face to face. And that always bothered me, especially when I had to do a Skype call or something like that. I couldn't meet them face to face. And when I finally could meet them face to face, we could never share the screen and, and talk face to face at the same time. That's why I like GoToMeeting. I can see their face, they can see my face, I can share my screen, I can give them the control to share their screen, we can mark up the screen, and we can go from there. It could be a PC, it could be a Mac, it could be an iPad with the HD faces. The best part with the iPad, you can't start a meeting, but let's say a client calls me and I need to go to that client site, have a two o'clock meeting, I can still meet at that two o'clock time and use uh, GoToMeeting with HD faces on my iPad as long as they call up a meeting at the office. It's a great program, it can save your meetings and it can save time, it can save travel, it does so much. Put it into your business toolbox and find the, the power of GoToMeeting. Simply by going over to gotomeeting.com, click that Try It Free Now button, enter in the code PODCAST. PODCAST gets you 30 days of this great software. So meet smarter with GoToMeeting. Remember the code PODCAST because of course that helps iPad 365. All right, and that's the show for today. What do you think? Do you use Photo Toaster? What's a better application out there? Do you, do you have one that just is, is better than Instagram? Do you want to talk about Instagram? Do you want to say, hey, this is the best thing since sliced bread? Let me know. Twitter me over at iPad365. Of course, you can also email me at iPad365show at gmail.com. All right, tomorrow is Friday, and of course, we're going to do viewer mail, and I think I got a couple questions here. I'm getting ready. My, my days have kind of been mixed up since the next week. I'm actually going to be in San Francisco for a couple of events and uh, trying to get as many things done, including next week's episodes of iPad 365 done. It's a, it's a labor of love, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to get them all done so you do not miss an episode of iPad 365. Maybe I'll even get a chance to do an episode right from San Francisco. That would be cool to have the Golden Gate Bridge behind me. No, no, the gol that's just a picture of the Golden no, real Golden Gate Bridge behind me, standing out in San Francisco. Although this is kind of cool too. So, But anyway, we will see you in 24 when it will be another episode of iPad 365. You guys take care and geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.